What's going on, Taurus? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Taurus, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I will pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, so Source is telling you right now that there seems to be some sort of money block here. This money block is some, causing some sort of resistance. And right now, this money block, the moment it's cleared, that's when things will change. And clearing this money block is super easy. You just have to surrender and let go, which is really understand what you're in control over and what you're not. Like right now, Source is telling you, you know, one simple trick is grab a pen and paper, draw a line in the middle. On one side, write your name. On the other side, write universe. The stuff that's in your control, write on the side on your name. Like for example, clean the house, wash the dishes, go to work, and uh, exercise. On the other side, write down the stuff you want the universe to do, such as bring my soulmate into my life, um, make sure I get that promotion, boom. Things you don't have control over but you want the universe to do, write that down. This is going to help clear this money block, right? Because you understand, I don't have control over all this other stuff, so why am I trying to control it? It's like trying to control the weather. Complete waste of time and it exhausts you, right? And Source is telling you right now, no need to do that. All right, now you got the five of wands and you also got the eight of swords. So the universe is telling you right now that there is a shadow that has to come to light and there's some inner work that needs to get done because there is a shadow deep down rooted that is causing you to preventing you from really shining and being your genuine authentic self, which means really just reaching your potential, right? That's, it's there. You could do this. Like you could crush this and you could be the best version of you. And that best version is awesome. That is the offering to the universe. And that's going to get you everything you're looking for. And you can do this. Like you could be in the perfect body condition. You could be feeling good. You could be thinking sharp. You could be just crushing life, lucky, fortunate. This is all there for you. But first and foremost, you have to clear these blocks, right? In the these blocks cause resistance. Your source is telling you right now, there's definitely something you got to walk away from as some sort of limiting belief to be able to clear this energy. And right now it's simple, right? Like change is a process of unlearning and relearning. So it's time to unlearn and it's time to relearn. This means reprogramming your subconscious mind, instilling new excellent habits, trying new things, having new thoughts that will lead to new choices, new behaviors, and new experiences. Keyword new, right? Everything new, new ideas, right? So Source is telling you right now to really start focusing on this, bring your awareness to this, put a lot of time and energy into this, right? Tell yourself, you know, how can I have new thoughts? Like, you know, my wife and I, we play a game called keep the frequency going. Like we just try to maintain a high frequency for days, for literally days, right? Uh, and it's just, it builds, it accumulates, and it gets crazy. All right, so now look at this. Source is also telling you to make your dreams real, spider spirit, which really means first and foremost, you have to dream, which means visualize, right? Like visualize what you're looking for. This dream, this visualization, do not settle. Don't, don't settle with some like whatever energy. Really know what you want and feel what it feels like to have that. It's so important that you are able to tap into the biggest form of abundance to really quantum entangle with that energy and really just collect in that good karma. Like, it's just like when you're playing video games. Remember Mario would eat the mushroom and blah, 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 get bigger? Same thing. The moment that you start feeling like a, a fantasy, something you always wanted as if it's real and it took place, all you're doing is banking in energy. Like you are banking in energy and that energy is extremely powerful. All right, now the universe is also saying that there is some sort of journey you are meant to be going on right now. So it's going to bring you synchronicities. Uh, look for angel numbers, 111, 222, 333, 444, 555. Look for feathers on the ground. Look for emails that have certain words in it that are in bold lettering and they kind of spell out a message. Look for anything, some sort of synchronicity. The universe is telling you there's no coincidences. It's going to be showing you some sort of synchronicities very soon here. And right now, when you see these synchronicities, remember your future is created by what you do today. 
Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow, right? So if you got to go do something, do it right here, right now. This is what's going to change your life. Don't worry about doing it later tomorrow or any of that stuff. It doesn't count. It has to be done today, right? So for example, this all this really means is if you got to go do something, keep your word and go do it. If you say, I'm going to clean the car, clean the car. If you say, I'm going to, you know, eat healthy, eat healthy. Whatever it is you got to go do, when you do it, you are get you're banking in energy. I'll put it like that. You are banking in energy and good things will come from that. All right, now you got the king of swords. Very interesting. And you also got the nine of wands. So right now, source is telling you that it's time to be a little strategic with your energy because there's been a little bit of extra worrying going on and worrying is like paying a debt you don't owe. So it's a complete waste of time and this is totally unnecessary. And worrying is something us humans do and it's unnecessary. It's not helping, right? So source is telling you less worrying, more feeling. And what this really means is worrying is like paying a debt you don't own. Imagine like going into the bank and giving them, you know, all the money you have. And the bank's like, what is this, our birthday? And you're like, I just feel like you're entitled to it. And you're like, they're like, what the heck? Sure, we'll take it, but this is weird. And that's what's going on here. The universe is telling you that you are not meant to worry. No one wants you to worry. It's actually the last thing anyone wants you to do. We tend to do this because we like to, you know, teach ourselves a lesson for some reason, that, which does not work at all. It just causes confusion or lower frequency. A source is telling you right now to steer away from this energy because this is really you reprogramming your subconscious mind. This is how you instill those new excellent habits in your life. And right now, source is telling you that you are very close to getting a big, big manifestation. And right now, source is also telling you that what consumes your mind controls your life. So it's like, you know, to really be focusing on exactly what it is you're looking for, and that's that. Almost like have a well-balanced diet of thoughts. You know, another thing my wife Alicia and I do, we try to have a well-balanced conversation about everything. We'll spend some time talking about our businesses, then we'll spend some time talking about our future dog, then we'll spend some time talking about our exercises, spend some time talking about learning, about, you know, uh, uh, our own, you know, projects we do just for fun, our, our hobbies, and, uh, by doing so, we're constantly, you know, keeping a high vibration and we are thinking about fun stuff. And Source is telling you to, that that's the same energy that universe wants from you. All right, now check this out. The message is learn from the past. So right now the universe is telling you that there's a lesson in the past, something that has taken place right now. And if you feel like you're having a hard time progressing, if you're like, okay, well, the energy in my life seems to have been stagnant or like it's procrastinating, like I'm having a hard time ascending to the next level of this game, that's only because there's an energy block here. And this energy block is there's a lesson from the past that you have to realize. Once you realize it, then the energy is cleared and new opportunities come. But there's something going on in your life right now where you're supposed to be like, what's going on? Why is this happening? How can I make it better? And move on. And that right there, learning from the past, right? There's something here the universe wants you to focus on and learning from the past seems to be it. All right, now let's check out your affirmation. Right now your affirmation is, I get what I focus on. Look at that. Right, I get what I focus on. So this is like you breathe life into anything you focus on, really. So write this down in the comment section right now. Right now, in the comment section, pause this video right now. I get what I focus on. I get what I focus on. This is just a reminder to the universe that you quantum entangle with abundance. You are fully aware that you get what you focus on and you welcome this. You invite and welcome this energy. You're like, I am aware. I get what I focus on. I'm playing in the, you know, a game in this fractal holographic universe and I know how to play and I'm here to win. And that's why you're gonna write down, I get what I focus on, right? You're telling the universe, I know I'm in a simulation. I love it, I'm gonna crush it, I know how to play this. When you know you're playing a game, like let me tell you, like once I learned day trading and I learned that, you know, how to play that day trading game, I loved it, but before that, it was very confusing and intimidating. That's the same same thing going on here. Right now, the law of attraction game may seem a little confusing, but it's really not. Just write that down. I get what I focus on and let the universe know you are ready. All right, now, final message from the universe. The message is, it's not as if you need anyone. Look at that. It's not as if you need anyone. Let's see what this is about. Right now, the message is, for as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, understanding them as opposed to changing them will wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. On the other hand, you're pretty much stuck with me. Oh, wow, I love you, the universe. You know, universe got jokes, and that's why we love the universe. Universe is silly. So right now, source is telling you, the universe is telling you that 
we want men to forgive, you know, but never forget, right? Don't forget, you know, there's always a lesson. What happened? Why that happened? What would you do different? What would you do the same? What you, what you didn't like, what you do like, but forgive, right? Forgive right now uh, because forgiveness is a gift you give yourself and you're basically saying, I want something new in my life. I get what happened. I don't want to hold on to it anymore. I want something new. So it's really saying I forget. So right now, uh, it's really saying I forget without forget. But right now, universe is telling you to really just embrace and welcome this energy. It loves you and to really, you know, expect this change to take place soon. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.